Hey everybody, welcome to Techmark Gaming. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Skull and Code carrying case for the PlayStation Portal. Now this accessory is a fan favorite amongst the Portal community, and I wanna see how it holds up against my Orsley and Dolby carrying case. Now before I get into the video, make sure you smash that like button, comment below and tell me what features you wanna see in the next PlayStation Portal update, and subscribe to Techmark Gaming if you haven't already, so I can be recommended to more gamers like yourself. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get into the review. Now, if you want to know what comes inside the box, then I got you. So all you have to do is pull open the lid and you now see that we have the Skull & Co carrying case and that's the only thing that's inside the box. So I'm gonna put it to the side. The only thing that we have to do is remove the protective film. Now, I gotta say for my first impressions, this is a really solid and well-built case for the PlayStation Portal. It has a hard shell that's shock and waterproof. And the mesh material sounds like this. So it's smooth to the touch, but it feels rugged at the same time, which is a good thing in my opinion. Now, if we take a look at the top, you can see that we have the zippers. There's a skull logo that's attached to the zipper, which is pretty cool. And the best part about that is that you can easily open up the carrying case effortlessly. Taking a look inside, you can see that we have some soft to the touch material that's gonna protect the PlayStation Portal from all type of scratches and whatnot. In addition, we have a Velcro strap that's gonna hold down our mesh pocket that's gonna hold all of our accessories for the Portal. And if we take a look underneath, you can see that we have some more soft to the touch material that's gonna keep the PlayStation Portal screen from getting scratched. But I gotta say, this mesh pocket is not as big as I expected, and it's most likely because they have these thumb grip cutouts at the top so you don't damage your analog sticks while you're on the go. Now, I can appreciate Skull & Co for giving us a microfiber cloth to clean our screens off with. I like that it's matching the color inside of the case, and it has a logo at the bottom right corner. You can easily fold it up and put it into the mesh pocket and go on about your day. Moving along, if you wanna know how the portal fits inside the case, then I got you. So all you have to do is lift up the Velcro from the mesh pocket and place it inside of the case. And as you guys can see, this fits pretty nice. Apparently this was molded from the PlayStation Portal. Theoretically, there shouldn't be any air gaps or any looseness. Now, sometimes we might forget to zip up the zipper and we're at the mercy of a Velcro. So I'm doing a test real quick just to see if the PlayStation Portal comes out. And as you guys can see, that Velcro is keeping it in place. Furthermore, the zipper feels like butter. I'm not sure what they did with this, but I'm enjoying it. Now the handle, I feel like they could have went a little bit more harder with this, maybe adding some hand grips or something to it, but that's just me. Now, before I move on, I wanna see how this microfiber cloth clean off the screen for the PlayStation Portal. There's actually a screen protector on the portal, so all you have to do is just wipe it down in circles to get the dust and gunk off the screen. And I gotta say, this does a pretty good job. Next, I'm gonna do a case test with the PlayStation Portal. As you guys can see, I have a hard shell case with a kickstand built inside of it. So if this can fit inside this carrying case, then any case will. So all I have to do is grab my PlayStation Portal and snap on each side to make sure everything is secure. And we're gonna put it inside of this carrying case. So as you guys can see, it is a lot more tighter than, you know, just not having a case on the PlayStation Portal at all. So you have to maneuver some things around. But as you guys can see, with a little bit of patience, you can easily make this fit. And we're gonna do a quick Velcro test to see if it keeps the PlayStation Portal into place and it passed the test with flying colors. In addition, I'm gonna zip up the zippers to see how it feels inside of this carrying case, you know, just by holding on that strap. And like I said, this feels pretty solid, but the strap needs some work. Now that we covered that, we're gonna see how much accessories can fit inside of this mesh pocket. So I'm gonna start off with a USB-C cable to charge up the portal, some Apple earbuds. These are the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack ones. I can put that inside the mesh pocket. And if I decide to use some Bluetooth headphones, I can take my AirFly Pro dongle with me. Now here's where it all fall apart with this mesh pocket. If I wanna bring an Anchor Mag Go with me to charge up my PlayStation Portal on the go, and as you guys can see, it doesn't fit, which means that I have to compromise on which accessories I bring on to go with me. Now, if I compare it to my other daily drivers, which is the Orsley and Dolby case, you guys can see that we have a lot more storage in the top half, which is gonna hold all of the accessories that I just tried to put inside of the Skull & Co case. Now, if we take a look at all three of these cases, starting off with the Orsley case, we can see that it has a nice white design, it's waterproof and it's shock resistant. And if we take a look inside, we have a soft black interior that's similar to the Skull & Co case. Alongside that, we have a Velcro attachment that gets 
the job done and hold the PlayStation Portal in place. There's also a white Orsley logo on a zipper, which makes it easy to zip it up. You also can see the Orsley logo on a handle and it has a hand grip as well. The Dolby case is no slouch as well. If you want to go for a more mature look, then this is the case to go with. It's waterproof and shock resistant. Plus the handle is top tier. In my opinion, this is probably the best one on the market. Taking a look inside, we can see that we have some soft interior that's gray this time. And we have some additional storage at the bottom of this case where we can store more accessories under the PlayStation portal. And at the top half, we have a zipper where we can store all of our accessories there as well. And speaking of that, let me just show you how much accessories I can fit inside of these cases. So I'm gonna put my microfiber cleaning cloth in there to clean my screen. I'm gonna get some Apple earbuds, the Airfly Pro dongle if I wanna use my Bluetooth headphones, a USB-C cable. Alongside that, a portable battery bank. This is the Anchor Mag Go if you guys are interested in that. I'll leave a link in the description below. And lastly, we can put our PlayStation Portal in either of these carrying cases. And as you guys can see, I have the hard shell kickstand case on the PlayStation Portal and I'm not having any troubles with getting these inside of either case. So that is a plus. Now, once we zip everything up, we can see that the accessories and the PlayStation Portal is now protected. So that is the only thing I really like about the Dolby and the Orsley case compared to the Skull and Code case. But if I'm being honest, each one has their up and downsides. It just depends on your personal preference. The Skull and Code case has a way harder shell compared to the Orsley and Adobe, but it lacks the handle support that the Adobe has. If you guys are interested in either of these cases, maybe you have a PlayStation Portal that doesn't have a case, or if you plan on getting one in the future, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. Hopefully you found this video helpful and if you did make sure you smash that like button, comment below and tell me what updates you want to see in the future for the PlayStation Portal and subscribe to Techmark Gaming so I can be recommended to more gamers like yourself. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Deuces.